So 5G, of course, is just a name. It doesn't have a meaning physically. So what we have is a whole lot of research that's explored how the electromagnetic energy works and whether or not it can in fact hurt people. This research has been going on for many years and that's what we rely on when we look to see whether 5G is going to cause a problem or not. There's been a great deal of research looking at the effects of EME on humans. Of course, there's been a lot of work that supplements this using animals and various other methodologies, but certainly in humans, science has tried to identify problems. Because there have been claims by some people of problems, science has tried to verify these claims, but so far it just hasn't managed to do so. Similar to wildlife in any other country, then I think there's a fair amount of information that can be applied to evaluate the uh, potential harm. And I believe that, that there isn't any substantive evidence of there being any harm. Mm -hmm.